Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best Garmin watches. Starting at number 5. Garmin Epix Pro. Until now, the Garmin Epix has been the company's high-end, high-spec adventure smartwatch. With a bright, amoled display, a large 1.3-inch screen and impressive battery life, it's been a popular choice since its release in January 2022. Now, Garmin has a new and improved version with the Epix Pro series. It's available in three different sizes, 42mm, 47mm, and 51mm. It also has Garmin's latest heart rate sensor, with twice as many LEDs as the Epix 2, spread over a wider area for more accurate data. All of the watches in the Epix Pro line also have a built-in flashlight. Design The Epix Pro looks very similar to the Epix, with a beautiful AMOLED touchscreen that is wonderfully bright and easy to read, even in direct sunlight. Like all Garmin watches with touchscreens, the screen is automatically disabled in sports modes, meaning you can navigate around the watch with its five buttons, rather than accidentally pausing your run with sweaty fingers. Read more about the difference between the Epix and the Epix Pro here. Battery Life the main difference between the Phoenix 7 and the Epix 2 is the battery life, in expedition mode, the Phoenix can last up to 40 days, 74 days with solar, whereas the Epix will wind down after just 14 days. Due to its AMOLED screen, the Epix Pro doesn't have solar charging. The standard 49mm Epix Pro lasts 16 days in smartwatch mode and 42 hours in GPS mode. Training Features When it comes to health and fitness tracking, the Garmin Epix Pro features are identical to that of the Phoenix 7, in that it can track just about everything. In addition to a heart rate monitor, the Epix 2 has a blood oxygen sensor that can keep tabs on your levels throughout the day, as well as perform on-the-spot checks. Coming at number 4. Garmin Venue 2. Garmin watches aren't just for serious athletes. The Venue 2 Plus is a stylish smartwatch on a par with the best Apple Watch models and Fitbit Versa 4, and it's rugged enough for bike rides, strength workouts, and playtime with the kids. It's also a step up from the Garmin Vivo Active 4 with an AMOLED display and a stainless steel bezel. The Garmin Venue Plus 2 blends the fitness and health tracking features you'd expect from a Garmin device with smartwatch features such as mobile payments, notifications, a touchscreen and storage for up to 650 songs. Unlike other Garmin watches on this list, the Venue 2 Plus also has voice assistant features and on-wrist calls. If you want your smartwatch to act as an extension of your smartphone, this is the Garmin for you. Design, like nearly all of the Garmins on this list, the watch has buttons as well as a touchscreen for easier navigation with sweaty fingers. Two of the buttons act as assigned apps or shortcuts, I set mine to the workout menu and my music player, while the lower one is a back button. All three buttons open different controls with a long press, like a tool menu or settings. At number 3. Garmin Forerunner 965. The Garmin Forerunner 965 is the upgraded version of the Forerunner 955. It's a top-tier running watch, and possibly the best Forerunner we've ever tested. If you're trying to decide between the newer model and the older version, read our Forerunner 955 vs Forerunner 965 face-off here. The Garmin Forerunner 965 has all of the high-tech training features of the Forerunner 955, but one big upgrade, an AMOLED touchscreen. Compared to the likes of the Phoenix 7, this bright screen makes it easier to use full-color maps on the Forerunner 965. The watch is also equipped with multiband GPS, making it more accurate in areas with notoriously bad GPS reception. Design, the AMOLED screen has a resolution of 454 by 454 pixels, it's extremely bright and easy to see in all weather conditions. Like all of the Garmin watches with touch screens, the screen is automatically disabled during activities, allowing you to start, stop, pause and lap the watch using the buttons. There are five buttons in total, three on the left and two on the right. They are easy to use and press with sweaty fingers or wearing gloves. The watch only comes in one size, 47.2 mm per 1.4 inches, so if you have particularly small wrists, you might want to look at the Forerunner 265 instead. 
it comes in three different colors, yellow, black, and white, and the bands are interchangeable. Number 2 of my list. Garmin Forerunner 55. If you're starting to get into running, chances are you want a device that's a step up from a basic fitness tracker, but also won't overwhelm you with too many features. Among Garmin watches, the Forerunner 55 is a clear choice. It's a simple, easy-to-use running watch that'll help you keep an eye on your running stats, heart rate, and sleep from your wrist. The watch doesn't have some of the high-end training features you'll see in other watches on this list. There's no training readiness score, for example, and the watch doesn't let you listen to music or pay for groceries from your wrist, but don't let this put you off. Design The Forerunner 55 looks like most of the other Forerunners in the Garmin collection, it doesn't have a touchscreen so you'll need to navigate around the watch using the buttons, three on the left and two on the right. The watch only comes in one size and has a one-inch MIP display with a resolution of 208 by 208 pixels. However, even on the sunniest days, we could see the Forerunner 55's transflective MIP display without an issue. But, if you're worried, consider the Garmin Forerunner 165 instead. And number one. Garmin Forerunner 265 The Garmin Forerunner 265 is Garmin's latest mid-level running watch, replacing the Forerunner 255. Check out our Forerunner 255 vs Forerunner 265 face-off here if you're struggling to decide between the two watches. The main change Garmin made to the watch was the screen, which is now a wonderfully bright, AMOLED touchscreen. The Forerunner 265 comes in two different sizes, the Forerunner 265 has a 1.3-inch display, with a resolution of 416 by 416 pixels, and the Forerunner 265S has a 1.1-inch display, with a resolution of 360 by 360 pixels. During testing, we were blown away by how bright this little watch was, even in direct sunlight. This is an excellent watch for most runners, it's got a lot of the training tools of the more expensive watches on the market, yet it's far more affordable than the likes of the Phoenix or the Forerunner 955-965. The bright touchscreen also makes it feel more like a smartwatch if you're planning on wearing your Garmin 24-7. Design, like all of Garmin's touchscreen watches, the touchscreen is automatically disabled in sports modes, meaning you can still navigate around the watch using the buttons 3 on the left and 2 on the right. This makes it easier to start, stop, pause, or lap the watch with sweaty fingers, or when wearing gloves. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.